Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Jason's Happy Fun Time Show. Name not final, and probably will never happen again. Uh, today we're playing some more Elder Scrolls Three: Morrowind. Uh, as my initial name that has already been discarded uh, would allude to, my name is Jason. And um, last time we uh, we kind of ran around a little bit. We kind of got a little bit um, a little bit uh, we'll say confused as to where we needed to go to. Uh, proceed in House Lalu, but uh, we, we, we do uh, have our objective now. We do know that we need to, uh, well, it's not in my journal, but I'm pretty sure we have to talk to Crassius Curio. Uh, before uh, we talk greetings. to him, what shall we talk about? I'll tell you what we're going to talk about. First thing we're going to talk about is me turning on my music again, because I have the music off. Why would I do such a horrible thing? Well, uh, I'll talk about that some other time. But anyways, let's talk. You want me to be your sponsor in House Lalu? I thought you'd never ask, but first I want to see who I'm dealing with. Show Uncle Crassius what you have to offer. That's right, don't be shy. All right, your journal has been updated. All right, well, if you didn't catch on my my, my very subtle, uh, very subtle hinting that I've been doing up till now, uh, Crassius Curio is kind of, um, kind of a perv. Let's take a look at the, our journal entry. Crassius Curio agree, uh, Crassius Curio agreed to be my sponsor. But he wants me to take off, uh, take my clothes off. Uh, I, I love how the solution to what you're supposed to do is right here in um, in your book, uh, and not so much. Uh, you know, it's you could work it out, but the the solution is there in your journal. So basically, he wants us to um, strip down before he is our our sponsor, which will allow us to proceed uh, further in House Lalu. Now, because I feel like this is something that Alexis does not really tolerate as a character we I've got to we've got to have a little bit of a role-playing element here and it's probably going to be terrible uh, what's going to happen For, you know sometimes when you role play and you're like this is not gonna this is this is a dumb choice it's a dumb thing to do but we're gonna do it so come on dumpling Ooh, sorry sorry I'm gonna get into character here Come on, Dumpling, don't be shy just do this one little favor for Uncle Crassius all right Let's go ahead and uh, let's let's give him what he wants. We'll uh, take off the armor and everything. Uh, I could just be grabbing from here, right? Yeah, under apparel. Uh, you know, I've actually forgot what my character looks like, um, head-wise. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, she's 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 a looker. Uh, all right, so now that we've uh, we've we've done that, hey, Crassius, how's it going? What 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 did I forget? Did I did I did I leave my shoes? Oh, the belt. Is that it? Really? Do I have to like unequip everything? Do I have to take off all my rings and everything? There, nothing is on. There, apparel is completely empty. All right, let's try this again. Yes, I see we're going to get along just splendidly, sweetie pie. You'll go far with my support. You're now a kinsman of House Lalu. Thank you. Yes, we both belong to House Lalu. Are you here to discuss business? Well, actually, I'm not. Um, first, I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff back on. And uh, we're going to... Uh, like I said, like I said before, we're going to be playing in uh, character. I feel so. There we go. Now we're ready to go. All right, Alexis doesn't didn't like that. I will enjoy this. So she punches him in the face, starts up the whole thing, and is probably going to die now. But that's okay. Oh, they can still see her. Dang! That didn't go the way I imagined it. The way I actually imagined it going was more like this. Let's see what you're made of. Except uh, with an actual hit. There we go. I pun I think I punched him in the face. He got hit with a lightning spell. And then we're going to get out of here. And someone's, someone's going, what the heck are you doing? What like what the heck? Shadow mask ring, is this the one we want? No. No, we want to we want the the one that actually makes us dis disappear. We want to be gone altogether. Ring of surroundings. Uh, aversion. There we go. You uh, oh, they see me. Oh, dang. They can actually see me while I'm invisible. Third try. Third try. This is how things are supposed to go. <laughs> Close the door. All right. Uh, you won't escape me that easy. There we go. Punch him in the face. And now we're going to uh, recall out of here. 
be happy to talk. My pleasure, really. So, what has this done for us? Well, um, we are now, uh, we are now, I believe, expelled from the, um, house, uh, from House Lalu. So we gotta go clear our name. And someone's probably go, why did you do this, Jason? Why? Because I feel like it's in character. I feel like, um, oh, what's, what's going on here? Things are being a little bit choppy on me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I played around with the graphic settings a little bit. Yeah, things might be running, be running a little bit slow in this video. I'll, I'll correct them for next time. We'll, or I'll look at the ground. There we go. Some nice, buttery, smooth frame rate now. There. Uh, so, yeah, we're what we got to do, uh, and I, I kind of wanted to do this for two reasons. One, I feel like it's in character. You know, uh, uh, Alexis doesn't, did, didn't like uh, being... Uh, Treated like that, so you know she she uh, smashed him in the face. Attention, Outlander. Thanks. Uh, and the other reason is I want to show you know what happens when you get expelled from a, a guild or from a faction. Um, I think a message came up on the bottom of the bottom of the screen. I was trying too fast to uh, uh, to get out of there. Uh, what business brings you here uh, today, uh, Alexis? Let me see business. Did I get? Uh, did I get uh, kicked out? All right, so I, I I went back and I checked, and no, actually, it uh, does not appear that I was expelled. So never mind, I did all that for nothing. Uh, but we'll just assume that she gave him a nice shot to the face. Uh, we, we caught it on camera; it must have happened. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and continue uh, on. Um, he has some business to discuss with us. Let's let's hear what kind of business Mr. Crassius Curio. Has got for us. Speak with Ordral Helvi and Caldera. Oh, sorry, no, wrong, totally wrong voice. Speak with Ordral Helvi and Caldera. Turn your charms on him, sweetie, and talk about business. If you feel his request is questionable, speak with me for further directions. Keep Uncle Crassius well informed, and I'll reward you. All right, sure. So we're looking for Ordral Helvi and Caldera, and um. We want to talk about uh, talk about business. All right, so we are off to Caldera. Caldera is a Go nice ahead. little uh, little town May I help you out? up in um, up north of Balmora, a little ways. Uh, it's between Balmora and Aldrun. But you know, if you've been watching this, you already know that. You don't need me to tell you that. That looks so awesome. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and run over to Caldera. Now, hmm, I'm trying to think of how to get there. Uh, we are, what, in the Hlalu uh, Canton? There's this different paths I could take. I could go to, hmm, I'm debating. Do we go to, uh, to first to the foreign uh, quarter and then take the Mages Guild uh, to Cal Caldera? They can uh, teleport me there. Or uh, do we take the long way and we run from like Balmora but working on our athletics at the same time you know that could be uh that could be a, a cool idea as well uh I am not too sure I think we'll I think we'll go to the um uh yeah the, the foreign quarter and I'll teleport from there so I'll actually see you guys in Caldera well, hello there a pleasure to meet you cool all right so we are now in uh Caldera took uh Took a little bit longer than uh, I would have uh, would have liked because I had to uh, you know, jump out of game a few times just uh, fiddle with settings. I, things were just not playing the way I wanted them to. Uh, see, I am still running a, a pretty old video card. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm running with a GTX 460, uh, which is you know admittedly uh, pretty old and not at all. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's really not all that great. Like the game still looks better than it it did when it first released, but. You know, it's like, ah, I'd love to be able to crank things up, but I just can't. Um, but anyways, do you know what? Enough of that. We're looking for, what was their name again? Uh, doesn't look like they have an actual their goal. Uh, let me see. Odra Elvi in Caldera. You know, we're going to go, st uh, we'll start by asking around. And I think maybe, um, starting at the Shanks Shovel. Shanks Shovel would be a, a great, uh, a great place to start. So we'll uh, we'll go there. Maybe start asking around. See if anybody knows uh, this this individual, this uh, Ordral Helvi. Um, I'll start with What's you. What's this about? I'm looking for somebody. I'm looking for 
Uh, are you are you even on the list? No, you're not. We're we're looking for someone in particular. Oh, there we go. Uh, Odril Elvi at the Governor's Hall is the town reeve of Caldera. Uh, Stellanus. Okay, you know we don't need the rest of it. Uh, we just need to know that we need to go to the Governor's Hall. Is the town reeve of Caldera? Now, what does that mean? A town reeve? Is that is that a title? I'm assuming that's like uh, kind of like a mayor, like someone who's in charge. Of the town, uh, and I'm assuming up here is the the governor's hall. Yes, that's it. So we'll run up there. We'll talk to them. They're probably going to be like, "Oh, we need to go. You, we need you to go on a quest, and uh, we need to make sure that it is definitely within, we'll say, Hlalu's, uh best interests." Uh, you look like you're probably the guy I need to talk to. You're not well though. Well met, Outlander. Um, what is it? Would you be upstairs? I suppose Please, that's a ahead, distinct Outlander. possibility. All right, so let's go up there, and you know, while we're up here, we're you know we're trying to find our next quest. Um, maybe I think it would be it would be topical if we could discuss quests uh, themselves. Oh, there we go, Odril Healthy. I guess that that will have to wait. How are you doing? My name's O. Um, my name's Odril Healthy. Now I, I I don't I don't know what name to go uh, or what's voice to go with. Like, my name's Odril Healthy. I lost my vocal cords in a fight with a Kwama forager. I, I help keep the mines. Hey, he keeps my mines. You know, maybe he he has met some Kwama. Um, I help keep the mines running and make sure business goes smoothly. Well, you know what? Uh, I have some. I'd like to um, you know discuss some business with you. I need a courier to deliver a package of sealed orders. Of course you do. Take these sealed orders to the Lalu Treasury in Vivic. Deliver them to Tennessee. Ladry, the assistant clerk. Whatever you do, do not deliver them to the head of the treasury, Baron Allen, uh, or to anyone else. This is a trivial matter, and you don't have to trouble anyone but the assistant clerk. Well, you know that just sounds so suspicious, and we already had the the little inkling, that little uh, that little crumb of uh, sus suspiciousness, whatever, put into us by Crassus Curio. He told us, you know, if there was anything strange, go talk to him. Now, we don't want to open the sealed orders ourselves because, you know, just in case they're legit. So I think it's best to bring them to Crassius and let him take a look at them uh, before we um, we deliver these. Or maybe we could just bring them to Baron Allen. That would work too. Hmm. Ooh, that, that, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I don't know what's in here. But this has to do with the mines, right? Maybe, maybe not. No, it doesn't, it doesn't even necessarily have to do with the mines. But it is something to do with the treasury. Hmm. Maybe this guy is uh, stealing money or something, and he's uh, getting this other, um, the assistant clerk, Tennessee uh, Ladry, to help him skim some off the top or something. I hmm. guess we'll find out. Well, yes. we'll. Outlander, how do you do? I'm doing just fine. We, we will be, uh, we'll, we might be back. Who knows? We're going to go play Courier, uh, running back to Vivek, you know, back basically where we came from. Uh, we'll run over here, and, uh, we'll probably take the same way back, um, to the Mages Guild. Now, I love this. I don't know if I've brought this up before, but I've always loved that, you know, you see, I have all these, um, these chimneys, right? And they got all the smoke coming out, but you look at the Mages Guild, and it's got these two puffs of green smoke coming out the top, and I, I've always just sort of loved that little touch, you know, the colored smoke coming up the top, and you're kind of like... What are they up to in there? I'm actually, I'm actually curious. Let's see. It's coming from the tower. It's coming from the back of this tower. Um, so we came through this door. The tower should be logically through this here. Ahem. Ahem. Uh, and I would guess it would be somewhere in here. Something would be burning, but there's nothing. And now all of a sudden, I'm disappointed. Like all the level of detail, but the second I try to find like where would these come from, unless there's a Titans basement. And good wishes to you. Is there a basement? There could be a basement if there's like a trap door somewhere, and that could lead to like a Our secret friend. mages guild thing. How does the day greet you? I doubt. I doubt it. I don't think. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, maybe on the second floor, there's uh, something that would link to it. No, nothing, eh? Well met. What is it? That is actually really disappointing. I was really hoping to see, like, what are they doing to, to cause those green plumes of, um, those green plumes of smoke? Well, um, what is it? Anyways, I was talking Hello. about quests. I think in the last okay. video I had talked about, um, I was trying to figure out, you know, how do I feel about Morwen's quests? 
and uh, I think I think I kind of have an idea. I'm not. I have an idea of how I feel about them, um, and it's not kind of how I, uh, I initially was thinking of it. Like initially, I was thinking, you know, uh, about the quests, and I was like, all right, you know, you've got um, quests for you know the different factions or not the factions in the different games, right? And then the the natural course is to go ahead and start comparing uh, one game to another. Uh, but then as I was I was thinking about it, I was like, you know what? I think each game kind of does things in their own way. And they're, maybe they're not necessarily better or worse than each other, but they sort of serve a different uh, different audience. Um, and it kind of it kind of revolves around how the games are designed themselves. Like Morrowind... And actually, I would, I would say... Um, hmm, actually, do I want to say Arena? Yeah, I'll say, I'll say Arena... Daggerfall and Morrowind. It's, it's sort of like that original trilogy. I, in these games here, I feel like um, they uh, they were kind of actually. You know, Oblivion's got a little bit of it. It's a spectrum, right? It's not like it's not like a hard line or like these three have this element I'm about to talk about, and then Oblivion doesn't have it. So um, d don't 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 uh, don't understand me that way. Uh, he's up in the plaza, right? Yeah, I need to go up one more. Uh, and I feel like those first three games are feel more like sandboxes in a way, uh, and maybe maybe at least in the, when it comes to uh, quest design, they they um, they are designed in such a way that uh, it's like a just sort of a world that you happen to be in, and then the, the quests just happen to occur in the world. Like the world is the main focus, um, and. I can't remember where to go <laughs> for it to find the uh, Crassius Curio. Is it? Yeah, what Curio Manor. What do you want of me, Outlander? Uh, nothing. Yeah, we're 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 Go good. Ahead. Um, Listening. it feels like you know it's just sort of an uh, an open world, right? Go ahead. And um, Listening. well, hello. There. Like they're all okay. A pleasure to meet you, Crassius. How's it going? Have you done any more business with Ordral Elvi? If he asks you to do something suspicious, keep me informed, and I will reward you, pudding. <laughs> Freaking guy. Uh, wait. Speak with, um... No, I want to bring up the... I can't... Oh, the sealed orders. So he asked you to deliver orders to Tennessee Al Al Ladry instead of Baron Allen, the treasury clerk? This is interesting. Give uh, the orders to me instead, Pudding, and I will take care of everything. Um... Dang, I, I, uh, wait, what if, what if Crassius is, uh, cause he's kind of crappy too, right? What if he's, uh, compromised? Never mind. Well, I wouldn't advise giving them to Tennessee Ladry. You don't know what you might get involved in. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you, Dumpling. Um, can I go, can I, can I talk to you about the sealed orders again? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, I'm going to quick save. I'm j just for curiosity's sake. I know this goes against everything uh, that uh, I talk about with like role playing and stuff. Um, treasury orders. I'm curious. What do they say? Do you want to break the seal and read the scroll? Yes. You have broken the seal. Dear Tanisi, your assistance has been profitable to us both. In many ways, I have but one more favor to ask. Find the land deeds for the Escadian Isles. Replace the documents owned by Ravon Arvel. Ravon Arvel, I know Ar Arvel's trade house. Is that, that's someone in Sedanine, right? With those of your own clever design. Soon we will have enough to leave Vardenfell together. Until then, you know what must be done. Know also that you have my love. Ordro Helvi. Alright. Or I, I just wanted to know. Let's go back to uh well, let's go back to the previous. That. I was planning on A giving them the to Crassius me. anyways, but I was curious to see uh if I had made the right choice. Um I should have said that first because now it sounds like hey, yeah, I was gonna do it anyways. Uh, yes, here they are. Good, good. Now we have some proof of Ordral's corruption, but it takes time for the wheels of law to turn. I will make sure these orders are edited, sealed, and delivered to Tennessee Ladry for being a sweetie and keeping me informed. Why don't you take this gift of five hundred drinks? Buy yourself something pretty for Uncle Crassius. Bleh. All right. Well, thanks for the thanks for the gold. I guess we'll go back and talk to um, what's his face, 
back in uh, in Caldera. Wait, or am I still? Do I talk to you anymore? Oh, I'm still talking with him, so I'm still dealing with the guy in um in Caldera. Man, we're doing a lot of running back and forth. Uh, that's cool. That's all right though, because it uh, it builds up the um my athletics my athletic skill. Uh, that's one thing I loved about about Morrowind. It's like. You know, no matter what I did, I felt like I was making progress. You know, with athletics, you know, just running from place to place, I still felt like, you know, uh, my experience was going up. I was still making progress to that next level. Um, so, and I, wait, I think athletics is still in Oblivion, right? Yes. Um, but in, in uh, I think it was removed from Skyrim. And that's going to be kind of sad for me because um, that's part of the reason why I, I've always sort of felt I could relax while playing uh, Morrowind. Uh, cause a lot of games I feel like, you know, uh, this is like wasted time. You feel like you don't really accomplish anything. Uh, whereas with, you know, Morwen, just running from one place to another, you know, that's building up my athletic skill. And to me, that's making progress. And, uh, that allowed me to just be able to enjoy even just travel because travel itself was rewarded. Actually, that's an interesting thought. We'll, we'll come back to that one at, uh, at a later time. I, I was talking about quests before. Uh, so anyways, um, I feel... Actually, you know, I might even say the first four games, but I'm going to say mostly, mostly uh, the first three uh, were games where you, there was the world and then the quests just sort of happened to occur in the world. There was no real like major like scripted cinematic events or anything. It was just, you know, this is the world and these are the things that happen to be, you know, happening in this world. Um, but I felt like with um, uh, Oblivion and then definitely in Skyrim, it felt more like there was a world, but... It wasn't um, it wasn't open world in the same way as the previous ones were. It was more like you have an open world to travel from one place to another, but it almost might as well be a level select screen in a way. Like um, I don't know, the, the, it felt like the 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 ways things could play out or the, the the information given was very limited and controlled. We make a special trip just for you. Why Say am I at no the Silt Strider? Brand. I'm going to Caldera. Oh. Well, I guess we'll, I guess we'll go to Balmora and we'll have to run from there. I'm not going to uh, make you guys watch the entire run from Balmora to uh, Caldera. Actually, yeah, I might if I'm, if I'm just talking about crap and, you know, it it happens to fill up the, um, happens to fill up the, the time. Actually, that's what I'll do. I'll do a little bit of editing here. Um, so anyways, you know, I hate, I hate this because I feel like I'm, okay. I feel like I'm not getting my point uh, across, um... Clearly, I feel like it, it, it sounds like I'm bashing Oblivion and Skyrim, but I'm not. Um, I'm just uh, I'm just talking about a different a difference in approach. Um, like for example, we just had that quest where you know there was many different ways that could have played out. We could have I, I think we could have actually gone to Baron Allen and given it to him. We could have given it to the clerk. We could have given it to Crassus Curio. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure we could have had the option to. to go in different uh, different ways and that could have played out uh, differently uh, you know each time um, you know it's possible I in a previous uh, video I also got uh, experimented and I broke the seal to see what would happen and uh, you know the person scolded me and said you know I I'm not working with you anymore you're completely untrustworthy and uh, you know that that's something else that sort of you know it's it's your own choice it's not necessarily like just a menu option, like, hey, I want this or want that. Um, I, I feel like the, and especially, you know, with the way spell crafting and all this is designed, you know, with all these bars, you can really create all sorts of things. It's it's more like a set of rules that you can play within um, than, uh, than I feel like Skyrim has very carefully designed and they, like, they tried to balance things. Um, like I said, I'm not saying this is a bad thing, it's just a different approach. Uh, like for like items and loot and stuff and things were sort of more balanced around um, you know these very specific things you know they they felt like some things were out of hand you know you know let's keep boosting intelligence well you know we will we'll remove the intelligence so you can't abuse alchemy um, just little things like that and oh thanks guard yeah you kill that next Nick sound so that's kind of what, what I feel like the difference is. Uh, I, I like the quests in Morrowind, but they can feel unexciting. 
they feel like they, they belong in a world. Like, the world feels like it you keeps turning after you've completed the quest. Whereas, I feel like in some of the later games, they, they go out of the way to make these, um, maybe more epic or more scripted things. Or just things that feel like, um, maybe they're bigger deals than they, than they are. Of course, you know what? I, I could be, I could be completely wrong. But that's been my impression from playing the games. And I might not be, we'll say, explaining myself, um in the most clear manner, but that's kind of how I feel about, um, about Morrowind's quest. I feel like, uh, in, in a way, they can seem... I went completely the wrong way. Wh which way am I supposed to go? This way? All right. Uh, they can seem completely uninteresting. Like, it's like, um, when you think of, like, hmm. Oh, there we go. When you think of, like, reality and... Go ahead. Okay. I'm listening. Okay, well, we'll talk to him first. Did you deliver the sealed orders like asked? Oh, I delivered them, all right. You delivered the orders, good. I have more business to discuss with you. Well, let's hear. Important documents are missing from the offices here in Caldera. I need someone to catch whoever stole the Caldera mining contracts. Oh, do tell me more. Someone stole some of our mining contracts, which were written on a scroll. There have been too many thefts recently for it to be an outsider. I believe someone in town is the thief. Find the thief and returning the mining contracts to me. Cool. Where do you keep the contracts? Uh, is that an option? Um, no. Interesting. We have a just a, an investigation on our hands here. Uh, Ordr uh, or Odril Elvi asked me, told me that a spy has been stealing documents from Caldera. He asked me to find out who has been stealing the documents. Now, where would the documents be held? Uh, I'm assuming that they would be somewhere here in uh tower place like i think we'll look around a little bit and see if we can locate where the um the documents are being are, are stored and then and then from I there we can work our way out uh you know what though hey this is alexis we've got loots to grab we definitely have to grab some loots uh so um yeah so i i, I might be I, my point just might not be very, very clear. Uh, I, 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 I think, oh yeah, that's what it was. Reality, you know, we, we, we see these tragedies all the time, like you know, on the news and crap like that. And um, it seems like such a huge deal, but when you think about like the grand scope of things, you know, life goes on, and to many people in the world, you know, that just had no impact. And that's, um, I kind of feel like that's how Morrowind feels. Like things just happen. Ordal's History of the Empire. Secret Caldera Ledger. Hmm. Ord Odril's History of the Empire. Huh. Imperial Historian. Oh, that's his. Oh, it's his copy of the Brief History of the Empire. Interesting. Uh, oh, did, did I put that in my inventory? I didn't want to put that in my inventory. I wanted to keep that in there for now. That, that sounds like it's a quest item. A secret Caldera ledger. Let me read this. This book shows the ebony mined in and shipped from Caldera. It shows a steady flow of ebony from the mines to something called the Ashlands Management Fund. Apparently, someone in Caldera is using the mines to fund a personal project. Oh, well, that's that's we're putting things together here. We'll leave those here for now so we don't get caught. But uh, should we need to, uh, we'll say, acquire some evidence... Uh, to take down Odril, well, we know where to find it. Uh, the closet. Locked too complex. How can it be too complex? Uh, I really need to sell some of these six health amulets. Uh, but so, yeah, that's what I, that's how I feel. I feel like, uh, in Morrowind, the world just feels like it, it just, it, it goes on without you. Uh, whereas the other games, uh, the way their quests are designed, I feel like they're designed around making you feel like you're the center of the universe. And like I said, I'm not trying to say that this is good or bad. We'll, you know, we will get to those kind of discussions when we get to those games. Um, for now, I'm just saying that that's a difference uh, of how the games are designed. Um, yeah, I like, I like, uh, I like both. It depends on what mood I'm in. Uh, I tend to uh, like Morrowind overall, maybe just better because I don't know. It's, it's, I like the way the game is designed, but that's not a slight to the other games. And uh, you know, I've played. Uh, I've played the others, and I've, like, Oblivion, uh, for instance, I have played some of the quests in there, and I like them. I, I thought they were pretty good. So, yeah. Uh, Amulet of Mighty Blows. Eh, 
Eh, not bad. Nothing really amazing. I'll take the, that amulet, though. Might as well. I went through all this work to, to pick the lock and stuff, right? All right. Uh, we'll close this door. We, we, we need to find those uh, those scrolls. Where would the scrolls be kept? You know, let's just start asking some of the people here in the, the Governor's Hall. What Alaros do you want of me, Outlander? Uh, welcome to Caldera, Alexis. We're an Imperial town, through and through, obviously. So can I help you? Well, I am look. Wait, what's Bounty? There's a price on her head. Though I don't know how much. People don't uh, take kindly to being sold shoddy goods. I have the feeling that's the person who gave us the, um... Boots of Blinding Speed. That uh, happened way back. Um, Caldera Mining Contracts. Do you know anything about them? The thefts began not too long ago. Talk to, uh, Ergola and, uh, El Musa Damori. They both moved here recently. Hmm, but, uh, what's his face? Uh, the guy we're working for suspects it's someone who's been here for a while. Who's er Ergola? He's a pawnbroker. He hasn't, uh, been here in Caldera long. El Musa Damori. She lives in the last house on the right, if you're coming in from the southern gate. Interesting. They had both moved here recently. Why did uh, Buddy feel like they were... I've been here for a while. Hmm. You're a suspect. Uh, I'm gonna ask everybody. We're gonna ask everybody. Ah, uh, greetings. What Cunius shall we talk about? Pelelius. I am Cunius Pelelius, a principal and charter holder of the Caldera Mining Company. I cannot imagine why someone like you should think you have business with me, but I will listen if you can be brief and polite. Ah, uh, yes. I, I, I'm, I'm inquiring about the Caldera Mining Contracts. I would start by interrogating our most recent residents, El Musa Damori and I Irgola, the pawnbroker. Irgola doesn't have a last name, so I'm going to assume you're an, uh, an Altmer. It's across from the, um... All right. Well, we'll ask. We'll talk to everybody, and then yes, see what they've Outlander. got to say. How do you do? You sound like you're out of breath, there, buddy. Uh, let's see. Caldera mining contracts. The thefts began not too long ago. Talk to Ergola. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk to talk to them. Maybe we'll get some more information that'll lead us uh, lead us on. So uh, first up would be pawnbroker. It just occurred to me. They said not too long ago. What is this about? And that is, uh, that's a clever way of doing it. Um, because I just thought about that. Like, they can't give definite time because they don't know how long I've been in the game. Um. Oh, I'm, I'm under attack from something. Okay, well, we'll go inside. And... I wanted to check the time, so I hit T. So it's 11, uh, 11 a.m., but it's day 56. So I've been, uh, in Vardenfell for almost two, uh, and I, I looked like I was wrong. I think it was a red guard. Okay. Um, you know, I've been in, uh, Vardenfell for almost two months. Uh, and now if they had said, you know, this person had only been here for like a week, well, then that, uh, and, but yet if I had seen them before then, you know, it, it, it throws a wrench into things. But if I, let's say I've been playing this game for, you know, hours and hours, you know, if I, if I had been resting, um, all yeah. over the place, uh, you know, and then the, it, we were up to like 400 days or something, then, you know, it, it, I like that they uh, they used very vague terms. Hey, Ergola, how's it going? So, where are you from? Um, Morrowind. I'm from, I'm from here. Uh, first time to Caldera, Alexis. It's a little piece of the Western Empire right here in Morrowind. And a prosperous little town, thanks to the Caldera Mining Company. If I can be of help in any way, let me know. Uh, do you know anything about the Caldera Mining Contracts? I did not steal the mining contracts. Look around if you want, but don't take anything. So, are you saying I can search your stuff? Because that would be really cool, like, what's in here? Iron Rate Pauldron and an Iron Shield. Okay, I'll look around. I just won't take anything. What's this in the small chest there, buddy? Ah, some money. Okay, I'll leave I'll leave that there. A Shadow Weave Ring. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Chameleon and Sanctuary, 20 points for 10 seconds. That's actually kind of nice. Uh, what's that you got over there on the windowsill, bud? Uh, I want to... Jump on over here and see if I can. Uh, what do we got? We got a key, a simple key. Not a lot of pretty <gasps> ladies around here. 
Are you implying something? No, you're not. Okay. Wait, so by not implying, are you saying I'm... I can't tell if that's a compliment or if it's an insult. Anyways. This, the Hlormarin Propylene Index, is a freaking index here! Okay. <laughs> I just went from like, to like, oh, I'm so excited! Um, okay. Ring of Surroundings. Uh, what else do we want? We want something else. The Shadow Mask Ring. So that's, that's giving us a total of almost 100% Chameleon. I think we can take the, the index, if I can just see it. There we go. Yeah! He was looking right at me, but he can't see me. That's right. I, I should have cast John Cena, too. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, all right. Is it your cups? Oh, that's actually going to annoy me. <laughs> the cups, like, tipped over. I love little uh, details like that. Uh, so, we uh, say, oh, that's, that's awesome. We've got a, a propylene index. What's this? Cruel flame blade. Eh, not a big deal. All right, let's go. Uh, let's look around. Uh, oh, it's upstairs. He's... Probably he pro probably won't like us going in here. Um, oh wait, I should use up this one first. Uh, sturdy arch door. Ah, I'm stuck in the door. All right. Uh, let's see. What have we got? We'll close the door so nobody, the guard, doesn't happen to walk up here. Uh, cupboard. Anything in here? No. I. I you know what? I, we could just trust him. We could just say, oh, okay, he, he didn't do it. But no, no. We're just going to look through everything. We're going to look through his bags, his baskets. What's this? The buying game. Well, that doesn't sound suspicious. Bed, where'd he get this money? Huh? Yeah, it's not like he runs a store or anything. There's, that's awesome! Look at this. He keeps... A sword behind the bed, uh, by, by his bedpost. Oh, that's great. That is really freaking great. Oh, I love that little detail. So he's like sleeping, someone comes in in the middle of the night, he reaches back and grabs his, uh, his cruel flame sword. Alright, I don't see anything in here. Um... We're just gonna, we're just gonna liberate some of this gold. It's, yeah, it's just laying out. And you can't, you can't, uh, say I, uh, stole it. Uh, common ring, common ring. Crimson Despair Amulet. What other things you've got up here? Common belt. That's the only real enchanted thing he's got. That's still cool. That is still cool. Um, oh man, I'm glad we came in here. We got that index. Anything back here? Okay. Uh, I suspect... I suspect Buddy's, uh, probably in the clear. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't know what that book is about. And I'm out of time. So what we'll do is I'll stop, save here. Next time I can go ahead and read the buying game for uh, as part of the book club. And then continue my adventure from here. That's what we're going to do. All right, guys. If you like the video, you like the content, and you would like to see more of it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, We'll go ahead and leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. And until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.